Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today, and the following video was filmed live. Feel free to fast forward through all the chatter, and there's lots of chatter. Sorry about that. Uh, I did want to remind you that today is the last day of celebration. That means it's the last day to join and get all those special perks, and it's the last day to get free items with every $50 you purchase, like this Meerkat stamp set. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, and if you need anything, let me know. Thanks a lot. So a couple housekeeping notes before we get started. These are this, these will go really quickly. Um, tomorrow evening is the last day of celebration. It's kind of sad. And I only have a picture of the third release. Um, but anyway, yes, tomorrow at midnight. And if you're thinking about joining, don't wait until midnight or to the last hour. The system's going to bog down because everybody's going to be getting their last minute orders in. And... I, I remind people every year, don't wait till the very last hour. If you want to, you can, but the system's going to be bogged down and you may or may not get your order placed and you may or may not. Um, they'll make it right for the starter kit if you're trying to join, but when as far as placing an order, I don't think so. I don't know. Um, okay, so I told you celebration is ending. My birthday special that was extended tonight at midnight is the deadline. So all the details are on my website. Chick Candy um, 71, the winner was Gina. I posted that on my blog a couple hours ago and I announced Chick Candy 72, which is the Wiggly, Wiggle Worm stamp set and the Wiggly Bugs dies. So to enter to win that, all you have to do is leave a comment on my blog, on that blog post. But don't go over there yet. You can do it afterwards. It's going to be there all week. I don't draw the winner until the following Monday. So you have a whole week to enter to win. Oh, I better not put that on my cart. I might never, I might not remember I put it there. These are the five colors that will be retiring. These are the 2018, 2020 in colors. And um, I'm sorry I didn't mention these sooner. I meant to, but with everything going on, it's kind of hard to remember. So if you want to stock up on these next month, I'm not sure what date, but these will be while supplies last because these are the outgoing in colors and we're going to have five new in colors starting. I haven't seen them, but I'm excited. Okay, so those are the five. Now we can make our project. Um, so tonight's project was going to be using different paper. I um, had a really pretty paper that I will show you afterwards. And then after I got the whole project decided, I went to create the supply list for everyone and I discovered that it was sold out. So of course I panicked and threw a little hissy fit and, um, and discovered that there was another paper that I could use. So yay, I'm so happy. So we are using the Magnolia Lane Designer Series paper. We're using this side here. And then that measures six by 12. The Whisper White is just for all of our stamping and die cutting. Uh, scrap of Petal Pink uh, for die cutting. And then this piece is the only piece that really makes a difference what size it is. And it is one, one and 15 sixteenths by three and seven eighths. And that will be on the inspiration sheet. Um, I already created the inspiration sheet even. <laughs> oh, it's ahead. Okay, we're going to start with this. We're making a simple project tonight. I overdid it this weekend. I, um, I was up until 3 a.m. one night sewing mask. And I was up until uh, almost 2 a.m. the next night. So I... I should have rested. I'm not sure what I was thinking. I'm no spring chicken anymore. Okay, so we're going to place this on the six inch side, um, which I like to call the portrait side, and we're going to score this at two inches. And then I'm going to turn it on the landscape side, which is the 12 inch side, and I'm going to score it at one inch, three and three quarters, six and a half and nine and a quarter man is that right <laughs> it is i think yeah it is 
second guessing myself here. So now we're going to fold on the score lines and we're going to burnish it with our bone folder. Anybody can make this project that we're making tonight because it's super simple. Okay, so we've got this. Let me turn it over on this side so that you can see. This is a big chunk. That's a big chunk. That's a big chunk. All of these measure the same. This one over here is the thin side. That's the one inch side. So what we want to do is remove this section down here. and then angle cut that, and angle cut that, okay? The rest of these score lines, we're just gonna cut up to the score line. Okay, we're ready for some adhesive now. So I'm going to take my tear and tape and add it to that one inch. Technically, this could be thinner. Um, you technically only need a half an inch, but that's the beauty of using, of being able to get two of these out of one sheet of designer series paper is it's six by 12. So it's easier just to leave it at the 12 and just have that little bit of extra. Okay, so I'm gonna take my take your pick tool and remove the backing to the tear and tape and then fold this over. And ideally, we would like for those lines to line up. <laughs> Yay, and they do. But it's not the end of the world if they don't. So that's the back of my bag. And this is gonna be the front of my bag. So I'm going to add my tear and tape again. Okay, so folding this over. Oh, I have to say, you guys, I am... Um, Dana, I did an online class last week, and I am going to be resuming my online classes. Um, remember when I used to do those? Not online classes, my online workshops. Yes, I am resuming those because it's time, right? I noticed a couple people commented on my old ones this weekend and asked about them. Um, so I'm like, yes, I'm going to restart them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially since I've had a couple people ask me to. So I'm like, okay, I can do that. I got to check with my husband and find out what night we're going to do it. We used to do them on Friday evenings. Um, and right now, of course, since we're all locked in, Friday evenings probably works for for my life, my family. I'm trying to figure out which side's the back side. Okay, so this is the front side. I'm going to stop talking so I don't mess this up. That was a great question. Um... I'm going to squeeze the sides. You guys have seen me make this bag before. I love it. And when I was going to make this project today, it was going to be an Easter project because Easter's in a couple weeks. And then it was going to be a birthday project because Brooke's birthday is actually the day after Easter. And then I'm like, I really wanted to use from all of us just because, I don't know, because what's, what's going on in the world, right? So, um, why did I share that? I don't know. I'm, I've lost my train of thought. So, I'm going to take a binder clip. <laughs> I'm reading comments and trying to make a project. And my brain is going in, in a thousand different directions. So, we're going to set this aside for a second. And that's not going to... We're going to fix that in a minute. 
Um, but for now, we're just going to do that. Y'all are going to be saying, goodness gracious, yes, she did not get any sleep this weekend. I really didn't. Um, and I don't know what I was thinking. You know, when you get on a roll, you just get on a roll. Okay, so I'm going to stamp them. They're so cute. I was going to use the... Um, you know why I used this set today? I think is because I saw that some of I saw the Weather Channel showed the koala. Some of the koalas got to go back to the eucalyptus. I don't know what they call it. Their eucalypt. They got to go. Some of them got to go back. Um, I was so excited to see that. Not that these guys have anything to do with the koalas, but uh, animals were definitely on the brain. Okay, so while that's drying. Yes, my mind makes no sense. I'm going to uh, flag the end of the petal pink cardstock with the Banner Triple Punch. I hope this one don't retire. I use it way too much. I would be devastated if it does. Um, yeah, we'll be getting the retirement list for the annual catalog, I think sometime next month. I'm going to take the Classic Label Punch, and I'm going to cut out the greeting. Where's my project? What did I do? Okay. And I'm done with that. So we'll set that aside. And now we're going to do some coloring. <laughs> now, I know the colors I'm using are not right, but it's okay. We can color anything. We can color, we can color trees purple if we want to. So I'm just going to add... A little petal pink to their bellies. There's no rhyme or reason to that. I just want to do it. <laughs> and then I'm going to color their rest of their bodies with smoky slate, light smoky slate. This dude's showing some teeth. <laughs> okay, I have to tell y'all something funny. It's kind of snarky, but y'all will get y'all will get my point, hopefully. So I know none of these people watch my video, so they will never even know I said it. But like yesterday, um, last night, one of my girlfriends sent me a text and she said, my house has never been so clean. And I'm like, what are you talking about? It must be nice to be on a, a, a forever vacation. Just to, all you have to do is clean your house, which is really not the case. But it kind of, I'm still working. I'm, I'm working harder even. So my house is completely demolished because I'm sewing and I'm working. Um, so I'm like, I slept on it. I was fine. Woke up today. I was okay. And then <laughs> this morning I get up. And my whole cul-de-sac, I mean, every single neighbor is at the end of their driveway, and they're all exercising. I mean, all of them, but me. So there's April, Rebecca, Lori, whatever that other lady's name is, Pam, Cat. They were all outside exercising, and I'm like, man, this is killing me. Yeah, <laughs> I, I have, yeah, anyway. Y'all get why I'm being a little snarky now. I was like, this is not fair. Um, so this is the stitch shape dies. This is the layering circles dies. Ruh row. Let me take this. I need to get these little these little pieces out because you can see I've used this a bunch this weekend. Not this weekend. Yeah, I did. I used it on another project the other day. What did I use it on? Oh, I know that I've never posted that box that we made last Friday. Yeah, I was just here Friday, not that many days ago. Sorry, I should have done this before. Watch this. There we go. I got rid of it real quick. Okay, I'm going to cut that out with that. So this one is the stitch label dies, which I used the other day. And then this is going to cut out that one. So now I'm going to get the big shot. 
slide all this over. Um, okay, so I'm going to cut this one out first. I did participate in putting the bear in the window for the bear hunt. And I put a llama in the window and a bunny in the window. So I am participating in some of that stuff, but not all of it. I want to go out there and say, hey, y'all, I got some work for you. If you, <laughs> if you want to cut paper, you want to cut cardstock. <laughs> I don't think they could keep the distance though. You know what I mean? I'd have to teach them how. Okay. You know how you get tired too? You kind of get slap happy. Or I do. Some of my most fondest memories are with my aunts. And we would stay up all night long giggling. And I mean like seriously laughing. And also some Stampin' Up! conventions. Whew, we've we've pulled some all-nighters at those. No, I don't do that anymore. I'm too old for that. <laughs> okay, let's see. So we've got this. So here's our pieces, okay? Um, now back to our bag. Well, let's set it aside for a second. Let's finish our pieces. So we're gonna turn this over. And we are actually just going to add this to the Whisper White. And I was thinking of adding this to a different color. But you know what? I like it white. So if you want to make it and put Smoky Slate back there or the Petal Pink, you can. But I like how that looks. Don't you? Okay, we're going to score this. So this is going to be like my pretend doily. <laughs> So I'm going to place it here on the, wait, I need to get those little bits out. Okay. Now we're going to place it on here, and we are going to score it down the middle. And if it don't work out that it's exactly in the middle, it's okay. It kind of worked out. So now, what should you do? A lot of y'all don't like sealing your bags completely. You like you like the fact that you can open them and not destroy it. And if that's the case, then you don't want to use a stapler. But using a stapler would make your life so much easier. But I'm not going to use it because I know y'all don't want to. But I am using the crocodile. So... Um, yeah, I'm using the crocodile, and I actually want to use the little, you can use the one eighth circle punch, but if you have the crocodile, you should use it. Okay, now I'm going to add this layer on top there, and I'm going to re-punch that hole. And then we're going to take our white flax ribbon. Now, after I made this bag, I thought about, whoa, I have demolished that. I thought about embossing this layer, but oh well, it's too late. But you could if you wanted to. It looks like hair, don't it? Um, so not a lot of that shows, but enough of it that I want to keep it. Okay. I'm looking for my Whisper White Baker's Twine. Okay, I told y'all I was going to do my own nails this weekend because they're looking really gnarly. I'm officially like 
a week past when they were supposed to get done. Now it looks like I'm going to go. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. Um, but I'm like, okay, do I make mask or do I, do I paint my nails? So the mask one again. But in a few days, y'all are going to be like, okay, girl, you got to do something with them things. By the way, whoever told me about this stuff, thank you. I just got it today. It just arrived per Amazon, and I'm keeping it in my pocket and reapplying, so we'll see if I, if I love it. I don't know if even the person that told me about it is even on here, but I'll have to let y'all know. Okay, so now we're going to take this and pop it up. That was another lane swerve, wasn't it? And then, okay, so we're going to place these guys on the front of the bag. See, when, when I told you that I like to staple it and then add the ribbon, it's because sometimes that bag is kind of poking through. But if you add, but I know y'all don't want to add adhesive, so you're going to have to live with it showing through if you don't want to add adhesive. Okay, I'm going to stop obsessing over that. We're going to add this greeting with the little mini dimensionals. Oh, I don't want to add it upside down. And then it's going to go right down there. Isn't that cute? And now we're going to add our little heart. Now I was going to add like a rhinestone or something, but this heart serves as my embellishment. And this is in that same rut row, same pack of dies, you know, that one. Okay. So we're just going to angle that on there. Okay, what do you think? Simple, cute. It's a nice size little bag. Okay, so you want to see the one that I made earlier? Um, so, oh, they're so cute, aren't they? Um, so here's the one that we were going to make. And this pleased is punch paper. Um, I, it doesn't say that it's sold out. On the inventory report but when I went to get the item number to create y'all's um, inspiration sheet um, it is no longer available so I, I did not have time to go back to the drawing board and create another project so I was happy that I was able to find um, this petal pink in the Magnolia Lane suite I still prefer this one but this one's cute yeah Thank y'all so much. You've been wonderful. Have a great night, and I'll see some of you on uh, Wednesday morning. Thanks again.